672 more matches took place across 10 mats and two sessions on day two of the state wrestling tournament. So without further ado, let's get right into the highlights. Day two of the state wrestling meet features action from the consolation brackets as well as the championship quarter and semifinal rounds. We start off in the D3 144 pound consolation match. Payne Platford of Versailles earns one point for the escape, however his tournament run comes to an end with a pinfall loss. In the championship brackets of the 157 pound weight class, Alan East Cade Wireman gets two points for the takedown, however he drops this match by pinfall and falls in the consolation round. In the 175s, Versailles Kane Epperly breaks out of his opponent's hold. He wins this quarterfinal match by pinfall, however he falls in the championship semis and will wrestle in the consolation semifinals. Bumping up to the 215, Cole Waters Will Fox gets a point for the escape. However, his tournament run comes to an end with back-to-back -back losses. In the same weight class, Liberty Ben's Gavin Gillick works his way out of the hold. He gets one point for the escape, but falls 19-4. This eagle will be wrestling in the Constellation Semis on Sunday. To the heavyweights in the championship semis, Alan East Eli Cribbley earns two points for the takedown. The Mustang wins this match 7-1, and he will wrestle for the top spot on the podium tomorrow. In the consolation round in the 150s, Montana Pierce of Macomb gets two points for the reversal. He would win this match 4-2 and will compete for seventh place on Sunday. In the 165 consolations, Alan East Trenton Gatchel gets two points for the reversal. However, his tournament run comes to an end with a 4-3 loss. In the 215, we have Spencerville's Logan Johnson breaking free and scoring a point, but this Bearcat season comes to an end with a 6-1 loss. To Division II in the 144-pound weight class, St. Mary's Bo Hernstein earns a point for the escape. However, he drops this match 17-2 and falls in the consolation round. In the D2 consolation, starting off at 113, Wapakoneta's Caden Malak gets two points for the takedown. He wins this match 15-3 and will wrestle in the consolation semis on Sunday. To the 132, Mason Ducat defines gets two points for the takedown. He wins this match by pinfall and will compete for seventh place on Sunday. In the 190 constellation, Wapakoneta's Jace Naus gets one point for the escape. He drops this match, however, and will wrestle for seventh place. Over to the ladies in the 105 weight class, Kenzie Miracle of Salina gets a point for the escape. However, she dropped this match 12 to 4 and will wrestle for seventh place on Sunday. To the 170s, Kate Simmons of Finley earns a point for the escape. She wins this quarterfinal match by pinfall. However, Simmons fell in the next round and will wrestle in the Constellation Semis on Sunday. In the 190s, we have another Finley Trojan winning her quarterfinal match. Laney Oliver pins her girl in three minutes and one second. Oliver also won her semifinal match and will wrestle in the finals on Sunday. The final day of the state wrestling tournament will bring 336 matches and will bring you highlights of all the placement matches tomorrow. Reporting from the Shot and Scene Center in Columbus, Tony Quach, your News Now Sports. Thanks, Tony. Just one other competitor to get to in the D2 113 weight class. It's St. Mary Rough Riders Kate Heisey. She'll be wrestling in the Constellation Semis on Sunday. Sophomore will actually be wrestling against a fellow WBL foe and Wap Ganetta's Caden Malat.